Good day, good day. Welcome to Roverland. How the hunk are you? This is your friend Dan O. Yes, today we're going to be looking at the Matchbox Range Rover Sport. Yes, sirree. Well, um, I wanted to show you. I, I, if you're just joining the channel, welcome. But uh, this is how I display my carded inventory. Uh, I put it on a uh, poster board, and uh, I, I do happen to have to hot glue those thumbtacks in. But uh, this is where um, how I like to display them. And then I leave room for uh, more to come on board. And this one actually uh, has the evokes on it as well. But uh, you know what? I was going to try to show you and talk to you uh, about how walk through time walk through history, walk through matchbox back, card backs uh, like this, but uh, there's not that many. So uh, I'm going to stop right now and pull them down so we can look at them closer as well as the rest of my collection, all right? So hold on to that thought. All right, I hope that wasn't too long for you. <laughs> all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do our usual thing. We're going to look at carded cards first and walk through the history of Matchbox on the card. I think that's kind of interesting to see, as well as then later on we'll look a, at uh, the cars closer up uh, later on in the video. So uh, so this is it. Um, and once again, uh, disclaimer, I am not an expert at all on this. I'm just a crazy nut, and I got a collection, and I love to show it off most all my information comes from Bay Area Matchbox Collectors Association, B-A-M-C-A dot org. Check them out. All right, let's jump right into it. This is the Matchbox Range Rover Sport, which, uh, yeah, here's the uh, first appearance. 2006 is when it uh, debuted, and uh, first year right off the bat, they uh, did a variation. So uh, this one here is uh, a black with uh, the chainsaw or the saw blade wheels. So that, I believe this is the first one that came out in 2006. The second one that came out in 2006, uh, number 50, was uh, the same color, black, but it had these wheels, and boy, did I write down the name of those? No. They're different. <laughs> and matter of fact, uh, the Range Rover never showed up with these again. Uh, they're kind of uh, popular, but not popular uh, wheels for Matchbox. But uh, right there you go, right off the bat, um, we've got a variation uh, you know, I didn't check there. There is, uh, oh, I don't even have a total list of how many there are variations, but I know I'm missing four. <laughs> That's the important part right there, right? I'm missing four. <laughs> All right, so we're still got the uh, same old card back here, but uh, the first one came out in number 50. Now we go to number 26, and that was 2007. And that is a metallic green color. And sorry for the glare, but we'll be looking at them uh, a little bit closer. But then it comes with the uh, six-spoke wheels there. So that's 2007. Uh, 2000, um, uh, well, I'm going to tell you, 2007 is uh, the best of British, the best of British. And it came in this, like, pack here well no actually it came more like this uh, uh the best of british i don't have any of those um and uh that one was 2007 silver gray with uh the six spokes um uh, like this one has and uh on the hunt for that and they always go for big money on ebay so i never get that so that's one that i'm missing um 2000 uh Let's see, that's, uh, oh boy, 2006, I have 2007, I've got a black one here, and I don't have it, number 27, yeah, number 26, I'm sorry, I'm losing my spot here, uh, this is a, the 
a green, an emerald green, and we're going to take a closer look at that. That was the next one in line, 2007. I lost lost uh, space there in my uh, <laughs> in my in my notes, but that's emerald green. We got one of those loose, but that went from number 50 to number 26. The next year that came out was uh, 2007, and it was the super fast, and you know they're 15500. Uh, 15,500 of those, and uh, number 54, and uh, very nice. I've got a loose one of those. Uh, you probably can't see it just outside the frame of the picture there, but uh, I've got a couple of these. These aren't too hard to come by, but they're kind of hard to come by. <laughs> so uh, that one was 2007. Then we um, take a little break again. And uh, 2007 came out the Stars of Germany, which is kind of a metallic blue with the uh, six-spoke wheels, like on here, uh, which, of course, was in Germany, and I didn't get that one. So 2007, super fast orange one. Also, uh, in 2007, they did this one here, which was in a 10-pack. And uh, just a quick glance here at the 10 pack here without too much glare. Man, it's kind of funny. I collect that one too, the Dakar Rally race trucks. I just love those cars. If you ever YouTube them, uh, Dakar Rally large race trucks. I, I've got a small collection of those. Maybe someday. If you'd like to see those, comment down below. I don't have many. I'm missing a lot more than I, I have. <laughs> but anyway, um, here it is. 2007 came out the... Uh, News 10 truck, and uh, even though it's in a 10-pack, I've got uh, a couple of those. Uh, so we'll take a look at that loose, but uh, just kind of give you an idea of what that 10-pack looked like back there in 2007. All right, so moving right along, we uh, 2008 uh, again, and it came out with uh, like this packaging. The Best of British, it's a metallic cranberry, and it comes with the 10-spoke wheels like these here. So that's another one that I'm missing. So we're up to three now. <laughs> All right. Um, the next one that we have is, um, oh, yes, 10-pack, 5-pack, this one here, this one here. I don't have it in a 10-pack, apparently. But uh, this sand one uh, in this five pack, it, it doesn't really uh, ready for action. Uh, it doesn't really have a name for this 10 pack, but uh, kind of a luxury car. It's kind of uh, looks like they all had the same set of wheels there. But uh, I do have that. It's a, I guess, a metallic sand color. I, uh, yeah, I've got one of these loose, so we'll take a closer look there. But uh, did not come out on the single pack, just a 10 pack, which apparently I don't have, and a 5 pack. So there you go. So that is 2008. And so then also in 2008, they came out with this one, number 40, the uh, Range Rover Sport. And uh, 2008 was, uh, you know, obviously Land Rover, 1948. So this was 60 years, and they did a commemorative uh, Range Rover Sport with a 60 years right on the badge there. And now this is where they uh, swapped over to the 10-spoke wheels, which is really the more common and, and most, uh, uh, I don't know, the most common wheels for this uh this Range Rover Sport and as you see by this time the card art has changed a little bit and uh, so there you go so 2008 is when we came out with the number 40 the uh, 60th anniversary is what that came out to and uh, so then the next one was 2008 as well same card art uh, this one is uh, yellow Number 40, they kept that, kept that uh, number in the lineup still. Uh, and this is uh, just a, like a dark yellow mustard look. Obviously, I've got one of these uh, loose, so we can take a look at that. But it's got the 10-spoke wheels. Pretty, pretty neat there. 
And then uh, also then 2008 is when they came out with another Best of British, which would have been packaged like this, red with the 10 spoke wheels. Don't have that one. That's the fourth one that I need. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, then we go to uh, that 10, 2009 is when they came out with that last Best of British. So then also in 2009, they came out with this uh, metallic gold. Very flashy, very goldish looking. <laughs> now this one is number 38. Um, once again, a little bit different card art, the uh, VIP rides, a little bit different. So, uh, just in one year, they, they took another, uh, turn and changed things up a little bit. And then, uh, so that's the gold one. 2009 also, they did another, um, metallic color one. Uh, once again, uh, 2009 they changed the card and then it came to this one uh i think a lot of us uh growing up really remember this one uh 2009 maybe i don't know but anyway uh same car same car obviously but uh this one is a light metallic blue very nice um and then this one is number 35 out of 100 vip range rover sport so another number to remember for that but just another beautiful uh looking car we're gonna have uh, a look at another one of those oh there maybe you can see it down there but don't peek don't peek we're not peeking all right we're doing card art all right so then we get to um 2011 and that's when they came out with the matching vehicles i love that card art that is really nice that's a sharp truck right there and um uh, with a black with the five spokes with a chrome on the wheels um this is uh once again that they call this number 35 out of 100 uh vip once again uh really kind of different uh uh card art on there so you can see that now there is a variation on this uh bm uh b-a-m-c-a did not really um go into depth on uh, the variation that I've got um, but anyway we'll we'll look at that later <laughs> later on I think it's a variation I don't know maybe I'm just you know thinking of something else maybe I am anyway so there you go uh, that's the uh, history the card art and the uh, card is, uh things that I've got uh, in my collection so let's move right along well i guess the only other one that i would have that would be carded is 2016 if you don't all remember the best of matchbox came out the 2016 box uh and and so that would be the last time that we have seen this model is uh and they they call it a range rover sport still uh kind of generic artwork on the box there but uh very neat uh, these were very easy to find so if anybody needs one let me know down in the comments below <laughs> I think I have a handful of these yes so uh, there we go that's that's kind of a quick look at what I've got as far as uh, carded vehicles uh, I do want to take a look at and uh, say that uh, this was the last the last version that we saw of this model and uh, we're going to take a little close-up look here at uh, this one in particular, just to kind of give everybody a... Now this, don't be confused with this. This is the new kid on the block, and this is Grandpa, okay? So just to let you know that they are two different, uh, significantly different models. Uh, obviously, they're called two different models. This is called the uh, Velar, or the Vogue uh, SE where this one is just called the uh, Range Rover Sport so so just so you know they are quite different uh, just kind of comparing and stuff like this obviously the the green one doesn't have any opening parts the blue one does so there we go beautiful beautiful model we're going to take a look at the the last recent most um, one beautiful detailing uh, Range Rover on the hood, the headlights and tampo, that is really kind of sharp looking there. Got the, uh, they have the uh, badge on the grill. If we can stay focused, they did do some tampo work 
on the uh, vent on the side there. This one sported the uh, off-road real rider tires, pretty chunky, pretty nice. Uh, has the uh, Matchbox logo on the back there. It's kind of interesting on the top there. They've got the uh, veins through there, sunroof, and it's got a silver... I don't know, headliner painted on it. <laughs> so there you go. There it is, the best of uh, best of the world, but it should be OTM because it's best of Matchbox. Uh, but uh, I didn't realize that that might, is that an error? Because <laughs> it's not best of the world, it's best of Matchbox. But anyway, um, if we could hold still for a second here. All right, let's focus. But uh, very nice. Now, this is when uh, Land Rover went with the black rain, uh, Land Rover badge, uh, the sport badge there. Oh, that says autobiography down there below sport there on the right, doesn't it? Range Rover. Got a little wiper on the windshield. Um, the uh, lights on the back are really kind of plain Jane, but they are, you know, three, four colors there. But uh, not as detailed as the front, but they do have some detailing. This uh, black part is part of the base. Um, this one is plastic base, uh, metal metal body. And we'll, we'll take a look, a closer look at that. Uh, just a forewarning to all you uh, squeamish of stomach and heart uh, that can't handle <laughs> taking these cars apart. But anyway, let's get, the, this is my pride and joy right here. Uh, I've told you before that... Uh, I really don't uh, like uh, carny cases. Uh, I collect and I put my cases in uh, wooden shadow boxes. And this is an example. This is a beautiful example. Uh, I'm always uh, switching things up and moving things around because, well, when I get more loose models, I got to put them all in the same case. And so this one is kind of growing. I've got uh, two on a couple and then three on a couple. So, but anyway. Uh, the story behind this is uh, I bought this at, um, I don't know, Goodwill or something like that. And we're going to roll it around here. This is actually a um, Hallmark display box. Very nice. Uh, you know, it got scuffed up or whatever. Uh, but uh, very nice uh, uh, padded, padded interior on there you know it, it uh, yeah it's hallmark so it's it's really fancy so well if it's really fancy we're gonna put it in <laughs> we're gonna put range rovers in it because they're they're really fancy <laughs> so let's start back at the first um 2006 and uh that's uh, now you may ask how do i how do i get those cars to stay still huh well i did a little trick here uh you could probably see it I took a little piece of hot glue, and if you ever remember my uh, my uh, tape measure, or my ruler, no, it's not a tape measure, it's a ruler, this is cold, so I put a dab of hot glue on there, and it immediately starts cooling it, and then I, I, I smash my car wheel on that, so then it makes a, uh, I don't know, wheel chuck, I guess. Uh, so there you go, and it just pops right off. By that time, it's cold enough where it won't go into the tire tread and stuff like that. So, um, you know, I'm trying to get the, the room situated where I get these mounted up there and they stay. But uh, I had some boards I put uh, on the side there. I had some, uh, I'll tell you a little bit how I built this case. Uh, I had some burlap uh, scrapbooking material that I cut out there. I had uh, a couple of these, these boards I think were uh, original to it. And I just trimmed them out and uh, fitted them in there and hot glued them in there. Where would we be without hot glue? <laughs> All right, so let's start uh, right away with the uh, first one. This is the first edition, 2006, um, with the saw blade uh, wheels. Um, I don't know if we can really... There's a lot of glare on these little buggers and a lot of I can't get focused today. <laughs> But uh, very nice detail. We're just going to take a quick kind of look around here. Uh, if you don't have one of these, uh, you probably should because, you know, they're, they were kind of popular. Uh, interesting enough, these uh, saw blade wheels, they do say Matchbox on them. So that, that's kind of neat. 
but that was uh, 2006 there. And then uh, moving on to um, the uh, 2000, well, where were we at? We missed uh, number 26. I think uh, that was regular wheels. Yeah, we've got, uh, where am I at? Boy, I lost myself in all my notes. <laughs> Can you believe that? I think I've only got um, one of these. I should have. Where did I put it? I had one of these um, with the uh, regular wheels. No, I don't. Remember, it came out with that funny, funny off-road wheel. Uh, I got it in the stack there. But uh, it did come out with a black off-road wheel there. And uh, so, anyway, there we go. Um, so anyway, back to uh, our timeline here. So the next one that I've got is the green one here. And uh, hopefully you can see that green just a little bit better there. Uh, get into focus. Then it came out with the six-spoke wheels. Those are really nice. I really like those six-spoke wheels on this model. Really nice. Uh, the only thing that makes that better is the uh, ten-spoke then came the uh, 2007, the orange one. Now this had the, the circle and the circle wheels. Why are we not focusing today, folks? Come on, kids. We gotta. I like this because it's the orange top to it, and then they kind of blacked out the center and the, the, the middle. This is uh, a little bit uh, premier because it was the super fast, but uh, not much more detailing, a little bit on the front there. But it really came out with those special wheels in uh, orange. Uh, the next one would be the uh, News 10, which was in the 10-pack only. So uh, take a look at that one. Nice graphics on there. Mobile broadcast unit. Six-spoke wheels. Uh, grayish, what do they call that? A metallic blue, kind of. But that came only in the 10-pack. And I don't know how I got... A few of them, but I got a few. No details on the front or back. They just put all the details on the side there. Uh, then we go to the uh, sand-colored one, which was also in the 10-pack. And uh, I've been able to find a couple of these. Very nice. Uh, I like that tan color. Just uh, not too flashy. It's not. It's more matte than, than anything. It's not uh, metallic at all. But it has the 10-spoke wheels. You can tell this one I found and uh, played with condition. I've got a few more in my case, but they're uh, all in played with condition. The other one is the uh, Pearl White 60th Anniversary. That would be the next one. Uh, 2008 is when that came out. We can focus once more. 2008. Very nice example. With the 10-spokes. Really hard. No, no de deco on the front there, but uh, just got the single uh, 60 years on the side, but they did give us a little red taillights on the back. Boy, you were generous there, folks. Uh-huh. All right. <laughs> All right. Then there came the uh, yellow one. Uh, I really like this yellow. It's more of a mustard yellow in person um, than this bright yellow that shows up on the camera. But very nice. I, yellow is one of my favorite colors, probably because the Defender came out in AA yellow, and that's the first Land Rover that I fell in love with. But uh, beautiful detailing there. Can't beat that. Really nice. These are all plastic base uh, with a metal body. Um, then came the gold, gold, uh, you know, metallic gold. Very nice. Very nice. This is a sharp truck too. Black interior with that. They pretty much all came with black interior. Some of them came with the gray interior. Kind of forgetting about the interior there. But uh, probably because we'll be looking at that uh, closer up later on. And then uh, the blue one. The, the, this is a beautiful uh, light blue uh, metallic. Really just a nice truck. Really nice truck. I like that color. That's a nice color. Nice color. Smoke windows. They pretty much all had smoke windows. And uh, then the, the last one here, uh, five pack. Um, 
Let's see, still, yeah, yeah, oh, I'm sorry, let's get into Fran. I'm reading my notes, can you believe that? I got notes today, so I don't blather on too much. <laughs> blather on. But anyway, this comes with this nice custom wheel on it. This is a pretty sharp wheel there. Uh, the black really shows off the details. It got a tan interior in this one. Uh, very nice. The back kind of gets lost a little bit in the tailgate badges and stuff like that. But uh, very, very kind of nice. Oh, yeah, they all had a tow hitch on them. So, uh, so there you go. So that's 2011 was the last time that we saw it on in the main line. So going back to um, 2006, um, this is what it was, the, the best of Matchbox. We took a look at that. Um, so, yeah, I thought those wheels, this is what it came with, isn't it? Yeah. This is, uh, it came with the, uh, the green, it's got a green, like, clip in there, and that's kind of neat. But, uh, you know... Yeah, okay. How about, what if it looked like if it had, like, its sisters? <laughs> its brothers there, and it had the ten spokes on it, like all the other cars. Yeah, there we go. Now we're kind of matching in the family. You're not you're not the uh, forgotten child 2016. So it kind of matches that silver up there. I This is from the uh, Defender 110, the Medic uh they had a super fast there and uh so i robbed some wheels off that one as well and tried to do a little bit there with that so all right well i'll what do you want to do you want to take this apart and look at my or look at my custom okay let's look at the custom first all right this is before um i knew that these were as collectible as they were um this is the top just cut off yeah i just cut it off and I put in some uh, different wheels. I might put in some different wheels yet. Uh, those gold ones are kind of gaudy, if you ask me. But uh, what is this? The light blue one. This is 2009. But uh, interesting, you can see the interior there. But I just cut it off and tried to uh, preserve as much as the uh, paint as I could. So there's, there's my kind of one and only decent custom of that model right there. We'll just put that... We'll put that right down there. All right, so let's uh, take a look at the base. Uh, Matchbox made in Thailand. Uh, 2005 is when it was uh, trademarked. Two rivets. Now, this one I had apart, and so I just kind of super glued it together, just kind of hold it together. So let's take this apart, put that down. As you see, a nice uh, tan interior. This tan, you can kind of see it a little bit better. But it has like a tonneau cover over the top. That's why I love. I love convertibles, so I had to make one of these into a convertible. <laughs> but it, the uh, the dash and everything, well, it's kind of a wanting little steering wheel there. But we kind of have a monopod there and some details on the dash. But that just kind of folds over. It has the axle holders there uh, for the axles because. The axles on this model just sit right in there. So if you want to do wheel swaps on this one, it's really easy to do because uh, there's no uh, three ring, three prongs or whatever to hold that down. So uh, so that's the uh, chassis. Here's the uh, the top part, the metal. Uh, like I say, none of these came with uh, uh, metal base, metal body. They were all just. Uh, plastic plastic uh base with uh metal top and i think this is like the first time i've ever took one of these off like that but you can see a nice new normally smoked windows would have been nice to have a little bit more detail in that uh what is that a b c pillar and the d pillar but uh but yeah kind of kind of really nice got the sunroof in there uh pretty uh simple straightforward casting here not too much to right home about if we could focus again <laughs> uh but anyway decent post in the back so there you go ladies and gentlemen this is uh that's what you got for the uh what would be the 2005 release of the uh range rover sport yes the range rover sport uh let's take a look at uh, one of my favorites here this one here so there you go 
We're going to wrap it up for the day. If you uh, like what you see, go ahead, like, subscribe, and share. Make sure you leave a comment below. Do you have any, uh, yeah, best of British? <laughs> yeah. Are you looking for any of these? Let me know. All right. This is your friend Dano. Going to call it a day. Going to call it a video. Remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.